A special delivery for a wounded veteran. It is all part now of an effort from local businesses teaming up to make a difference. And WLWT News Times Mariah Turner is in Wilmington tonight with the story. It's been an eventful year for retired Marine Josh Sams. He has a new home, a new puppy, and now new furniture. Sam's retired from the service and came home to Wilmington, Ohio, two years ago. However, his life since January of 2012 has never been the same. But that's when I stepped on the IED, and um, everything just became a brownout at that point. I couldn't see anything. Eventually fitted with prosthetic legs, Sam's has endured months of rehabilitation. His struggle and triumph has not gone unnoticed. In May, he received a newly constructed and handicapped accessible house through the Homes for Our Troops organization. Today, community members, along with several businesses and organizations, teamed up to furnish his house and make it a home. Through community fundraising and dollar matching, the group effort successfully raised $13,000 to fill Josh's home with all kinds of furniture, from dining room sets to bedroom furniture. Well, I would say in our, in our meeting, Josh, he is a true American hero. Uh, he gave to his country uh, in serving in Afghanistan as a Marine, had a great spirit through his injury, uh, went through months of rehab. It makes life easier because furniture can be expensive when you're furnishing a whole house and for Morris to come out of nowhere and offer to do this for me, I, mean, I feel very blessed about it. Joshua plans to continue serving his community and country through his work at the Clinton County Sheriff's Office as a dispatcher. He believes he will always be reminded of the kindness and generosity from the people he chose to protect through today's surprise, which came just in time for Veterans Day. In Wilmington, Mariah Turner, WLWT News 5. Yes, Veterans Day on the 11th. Wonderful story. By the way, Mo Morris Furniture in Fairborn worked with PNC Bank to give the furniture to Josh and his family. A VFW memorial post in the Dayton area also raised money for Josh.